Hi, Aries. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for 2022. Aren't you excited? Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I offer IOT, which is a healing modality, which, can, which will move energy for you. I have a lovely website, ripecolor.com. I make handmade uh, scarves and t-shirts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I also have really cool astrology t-shirts. I have pocket squares, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, I do daily readings with Nancy Jean. Uh, I also do uh, monthly readings, and uh, weekly readings are available for members. It's two ninety nine a month to become a member. Please become a member. And then you can watch the re weekly readings I sign, um, commercial free. You know, all those big companies are dying to do commercials on my uh, site, but I'm like, oh no, my members just get a commercial free. I'm sorry. Yeah, all the multinationals. <sighs> Please, can we advertise with you? Mm, I don't think so. All right. Um, you have to entertain yourself, you know. Let's see what's going on for 2022. So you are my hmm, four, six, my seventh sign, I think. Yeah. I do a different order every single time. So I always feel like the seventh sign, you know, gets the lucky reading. <laughs> And everybody gets to be the seventh, everybody gets to be 11th, everybody gets to be everything, you know, in my world, in my reading world. Okay, let's see what's going on for you for 2022. I don't know if it's chitter chatter. One, two, three. Um, if you've watched my thing before, like this card in the first position, it happens all the time. <coughs> He ain't afraid of work. <laughs> he's, he ain't afraid of work. And it's like, he's determined he's going to get the job done. Like, that's it. That's it. Practical, steadfast. I'm not moving until the job's done. And I'm very practical. And I get the page of wands who's like enthusiastic, young, creative. So the energy is young. It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, oh, there's a young creative person coming to your life. I don't read cards like that. It's an energy. And the energy is really about new creative ideas. And within the first three cards, I get the whistle while you work, you know? So there's this whole work thing going on here. This is real practical, physical energy going on here. And for me, you know, this is the craftsperson who's so deeply involved in their work that um, nothing else matters. They miss lunch. I'm like, oh yeah, oh, oh, is it three o'clock? Maybe I should eat. Oh, let me just get this done first. That's the energy. Attention to detail. And, and there's an energy, to me, there's an energy of joy in this card because they're so involved in the, the physical act of what they're doing that um, nothing else exists. It's really a very here and now energy. And there's a real physicalness to everything so far. So, you know, this could not only be like a creative endeavor you're going after, this could be starting a new exercise regimen. This could be uh, being on a new, like a new way of eating, a new way of walking through the world physically, right? So I get the nine. So this is like the, should I stay or should I go? And I think, you know, sometimes for me, I know, uh, sometimes we're at our best when we're forced into a corner. It's like, well, I was forced into this corner. I, I was, you know, forced into a situation and, you know, nobody likes to be forced into anything, but sometimes being forced into a situation brings out the best in us. Giving and receiving, it's a nice card. Perseverance, charity. The money will come. There's an energy of like, don't worry, like the, 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 the money will come. 
So if you get like a little, if you're getting a little, and you know, everyone, things are weird. It'll be fine. So there's a little bit, my, my, my drawer is like, shh, it's going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. What, what better card to get at the beginning of the year? It's like, I'm open. I'm open. I'm open to new ideas. I'm open to like, you know, working with others. I'm open to anything happening. You know, I've been working and uh, I'm open. Another page. Healing. It's also with that page in particular, there's this energy of uh, this profound sincerity. There's a real sincerity. Victory is yours. To be seen. Public recognition. Being, uh, this is also, it's the second six, so it's perseverance. So I think that's the energy of the whole reading. The whole energy of the reading is perseverance. This is really about do your work, do it well, persevere, and more will be revealed. And be in joy in the work. You know, you might have felt like you were, you know, stuck into it, or you might have felt like you didn't have any other option. But you know, sometimes that's the way the that's the way our souls work. It puts us into a place where it's like, well, this is what I have to deal with. And, you know, nobody likes to be put into a certain place, but it's like, it's a gift. It's a gift. So understand it as a gift and understand it as a, a larger picture and um, persevere in building what you're building and you'll be successful. But it's, you know, it's really about, um, what's the word? Hmm. You gotta buckle up, <laughs> right? And they, they used to say that. Yeah, and you know, this is, there's a higher thing going on here. It's like a higher calling. There's this higher calling, and there might be things you have to give up in order to achieve your goal, right? In order to achieve your goal, you're going to have to give some things up, and it might not feel so good, but you're working on something much bigger than you. This is, this is not just for you. This is for your community. This is for your future. This is for, this is not like, it's a microcosm of the larger picture. And you'll be able to complete it. Intricacy. So I, I think like the energy is really like uh, be in the here and now, be in your work, have your goal in mind and concentrate. It's really about working, concentrating, doing what you need to do in order to give up what you need to give up in order to like reap the benefits. But, um, and I think you will reap the benefits, you know? It's like building a house. It's almost like building a house. It's like, you know, when you first start, it's like, um, and then, you know, as you're doing it, it's like, well, I've got the foundation down. And then to do, -do it's like, well, I got to frame up. And it feels good. It feels good, you know? And, you know, as it moves on, like, enjoy it for what it is. Like, enjoy those moments of, well, I accomplished this, and I'm really proud of myself, and I'll have a cookie, and back to work. And back to work. It's like that. That's the energy. Like, well, got it, you know, my goal is still isn't accomplished. I'm going to get back to work. It's really about perseverance. Really, the whole energy is really about persevere until the project is complete. Right? And, oh, I can't see my friends as often as I used to. Okay. 
Nothing lasts forever. And because when I'm in it, when I'm really in it and I'm doing it, I'm in bliss, man. I'm blissed out. I'm, I'm, I'm blissed out. I, like, it's almost like time stands still. You know, it's interesting that I should say that. Because <laughs> this, this card for me is always like, time stands still. And so this is like, it's really a weird card. Um, not weird. I always say that. It's just, it's a very powerful card. So it's the nine. He's surrounded, right? And he's really at this point in the battle where it's like, well, should I, should I give up? Or should I move forward? And a lot of times, honestly, I, I interpret this card as give up. You, you already learned your lesson. Not this time. This time it's like, yeah, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Because you have perseverance, 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 self-sacrifice, a new road, attention to detail, completion. That's the key. In order to complete what you want to complete, you're going to have to persevere. So that's what the year is about and enjoy it as it's going on, right? It's like sometimes you're at a place in your life or maybe you're at a restaurant or something or whatever it is. And, and you know, like, oh, oh, oh. It's like, enjoy it, enjoy it. You know, it's not gonna last forever, enjoy it. Because at the end, you're going to have that house built. You're going to have the house built. Okay? Blessings.